Previous video we showed you how to import parts, create tool paths. So I'll show you how to edit the tool paths. Select Edit Contours. You can then select your part. So this being said, if you only wanted to cut out the outside of this um, artwork, this would be kind of helpful. If you wanted to change, um, if you're routing, you could change the pockets. So instead of uh, basically leaving this as a surface, you would leave this as a surface. So Edit Contours is a very, very handy thing to have for plasma and for routing. Basically, what you would do is to create a dead layer right here. If you were looking to cut the outside, you would click and hold down curl button. It will allow you to select multiple items at one time or right click, select all inside contours from all layers, it would then select these for you. So you would then right click, move to layer, you're going to create a new layer with the selected items. You can then change it to a layer of your choosing, dead, basically as a note for myself that I will no longer be using this part of my drawing. So operations, outside offset, there is my layer for my inside. but I'm going to use color 7. I chose use colors as uh, names in a previous setting. You can name them whatever you would like. That's not an issue. So, boom. There you go. There is your outside cut and it is not cutting your dead layer. Let's say that you did all of a sudden want to cut that. You would then select it, go to dead, click OK but as you can see it is now an outside offset. To change that double click and change that to inside offset. There we go. So one other thing that you may want to consider is if you're changing it this operation is first this operation is second. If you cut the outside of your part out and then go to plaz out basically the inside there's nothing fixturing the outside of the part. So you essentially want to delete that operation, create a new one with layer 7 outside offset. There we go. From here I think I want to edit my start point. Not an issue. Edit start point. I need to get onto the correct layer and then you can put it wherever you see fit. If these parts were nested very very tight together you may want to tuck it away in a position such as so or so and that will allow you to keep your parts tighter together. So, continuing on. I want to select all holes from all layers. It will then select this for me. I can then move to layer, new layer, and put hole. So, that being said, that will <coughs> allow me to pierce peck locate this hole if if need be but this hole is a fairly large diameter right click measure this is over a half inch hole that's not something you know that I'm going to be drilling and tapping so right click and measuring so I now have that on a different layer I can select sorry move to layer hole. All right, so operation, outside offset, color seven. There we go. Now I'm just cutting out that side of the part. If you want to move your holes to a plasma pack operation, that will be further discussed in the next video, but access hole covering, I want to Curl, select, select, make my way around, or I can also draw a box. Whatever, basically, wherever I draw the box, if the entire part, the entire contour is within the box, I can then right click, move to layer, new layer, hole. Then you can see the color of it has changed. So, move to layer, hole. From there, you would then create whatever operation you want. If you would like to slow down 
your small holes, you can do that. Sheet Cam, Command CNC, automatically sets the feed rate to 65% when traveling around a hole smaller than one and a half inch in diameter. So you can adjust your feed rates however you would like or see fit depending on, but Command CNC does a very nice job of handling that for you. So that in a nutshell is editing your contours.